Australia's Mr Cricket, Mike Hussey, has decided enough is enough, announcing his shock retirement from international cricket exclusively to Nine News this evening. At 37, Hussey's been in wonderful form and will go out at the top of his game. Controversy in the Heat's Big Bash win over Sydney Thunder, with English international Matt Pryor claiming a catch of Brisbane skipper James Hopes, even though the ball appeared not to have carried. Nah, that's it the deck, I reckon. The Heat shrugged it off and cruised to a much-needed five-wicket victory. Sam Stoser won't be fully fit for the summer. She's revealed she needed ankle surgery just last month. The Aussie is one of the glamour names headlining the Brisbane International, while one of the biggest arrived this morning. She looked as marketable as ever despite her long-haul flight from Los Angeles, but Maria Sharapova was in no mood for a chat. Hey, how's your form at the moment? It's doing well, thanks. How's your deck, Maria? It's doing well, thank you. A bit more gregarious and generous with her time, Sam Stosa. Hello. At today's draw for the Brisbane International, the former US Open champ drew Sweden's Sofia Arvidsson in the first round. And if the Aussie survives, she must make her way past Serena Williams in the quarterfinals. Very tough one to start the year, so uh, it'd be a great test for, for me and for everyone else in the draw. Stosa also revealed she had surgery five weeks ago to remove a bone spur. As far as the recovery and, and doing what I've been able to do, it's gone well. I probably haven't done as much as what I would have liked normally. Leighton Hewitt too has a tough first up ask. He drew Radak Stepanak. The summer of tennis is officially underway with the mixed teams event, the Hopman Cup, beginning in Perth. Australia's young team of Bernard Tomic and Ash Barty meets Germany tonight. And a huge blow for the Australian Open, with Rafael Nadal pulling out of the Grand Slam due to a lingering stomach virus. And that's a sport on a sad Saturday, Davina. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Plenty of tributes to Tony Gray. Yeah. Good. Hussey broke down today as he thanked his loved ones for their support. Serena Williams made her expected winning start to the Brisbane International at the Pat Rafter Arena today. While Yamila Gaitisova provided the surprise result, winning her first match since the French Open in May, former Brisbane champion Petra Kvitova is also through, while Williams prevailed in straight sets. There's no jockey in the country riding better than Chris Muntz. Sizzling beat Platinum State and Saluta. Three winners at Eagle Farm last Saturday. You wouldn't know he's battling cancer. Just come as a shock. I hadn't hadn't had a sick day, as I said. Like I still haven't had a sick day now, and it, I, I probably I'm very thankful in a way that I I was able to spot it and see it, and then it was diagnosed by the doctors. They found a golf ball-sized tumor in his throat. It's out now, but it's still a bit of a long road ahead, and um, I've just got to get ready and and um, be prepared for whatever presents. The 43-year-old will know shortly when he begins his radiation treatment. But he looks set to miss the plum rides at the Magic Millions. I'm prepared to look at it more as having a bit of a break, you know, having a freshen up. The father of three is used to adversity, race falls and time in jail over his alleged role in the tips for bribes scandal in Hong Kong couldn't flatter him. He returned better than ever to claim the Caulfield Cup, joining a select few to win both cups, the Golden Slipper and Cox Plate. That's the racing game then, you know, that's the racing game. It, it's a tough game. And only the tough survive. A sport which has steeled him for what lies ahead. You're not scared? I'm not. No, 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 I'm not. You know, I'm actually sort of looking, in a way, I'm looking forward to it um, because I wanted to get treated and get beaten, you know. Ben Dobson, Nine News.